Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. 女士们、先生们，早上好。<laughs> okay, we have a, a, a Chinese translator. Okay, the actually is both language. Um, if we uh, I I say a couple of sentences and we will because we have some uh, uh, a Chinese audience. Okay, so we want to translate a little bit. Okay. 为了方便今天的中国代表，我们设有中英翻译。Okay. Uh, today's topic, we are going to uh, uh, talking about understanding market opportunity in China. 今天我们的主题是理解在中国的市场前景。Okay. And uh, we are really, really happy to uh, in, uh, invite it. Okay, uh, five, five uh, panelists from uh, China. Okay, and then to come over here to share the experience with us. 我们很荣幸的请到在座的五位呃嘉这个特邀嘉宾。Okay, great. Yeah. And uh, within this uh, one hour, okay, from 9:30 to 10:30, uh, this agenda, roughly agenda, will be okay. First, uh, 20 or 30 minutes, I like uh, inviting our panelists to give a uh, uh, two to three minutes each to introducing their company, organization, and uh, their uh, Canadian and uh, uh, China uh, collaboration. Okay, two to three minutes, and then after that, I will going to uh, ask uh, several questions. Okay, several questions related to China market, and then it's job for you, and then you probably give your chance to uh, ask a question. Okay, so I will open the door, uh, floor for the audience, and then to ask uh, several questions. Okay, so I think probably our uh, time is quite tight. Okay, but uh, okay, without further ado, okay, let's uh, uh, our panelists to introducing themselves. Okay, um, how about we do this way? Okay, from uh, here. In order, so uh, they can prepare. Okay, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. He Guo Wei is a vice president and the chief of the department of a cardiovascular um, surgery at the Taida International Hospital. So, Mr. He, can you give an introduction? Yeah. 嗯、呃，下面我们有请呃呃何何先生，他是泰达国际心血管医院心血管外科主任、副总裁。我们有请他介绍一下他的公司和机构。Okay, good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here. I'm from Tianjin, Binghai, New Area, which is uh, let me uh, introduce you uh, Tianjin, Bing, Binghai, New Area, because nobody else from that area in this panel. Uh, the Tianjin, Binghai, New Area is a national economic new area. It was established 30 years ago. And now it's, it has uh, 2,270 square meters large, with 4 million people this year. And uh, the GDP of this new area is the first one in all national new economic area, altogether 18 in the whole country. We are the first one reach an over 1 trillion, which is 1,000 billion Chinese yuan. That is 200 billion. Canadian dollars, the only one, far more than Shanghai, Pudong, everybody knows Pudong, we are far more ahead than Pudong now, it's one trillion. And uh, this new area, we have uh, a large industry, including airspace and the missiles, everything. We are the only Airbus 320 production industry apart from Germany and France. Now to our hospital, we are specialized heart hospital. I'm a surgeon, cardiac surgeon. I do operation, 200 opera open heart operation each year. I also do research. I'm not really in a commercialized side, but our hospital, we did 2,100 open heart operation last year, plus 13,000 cardiology PCI, which is a standing procedure and a coronary uh, diagnosis diagnostic coronary angiography procedure. So it's one of the largest hospitals for heart in the world. And the opportunity for you to come to our hospital, there are three falls. First, you can communicate with us. I'm in charge, I'm vice president of the hospital in charge of research. And you can collaborate with us for clinical research, translational research, and the basic research. I'm also chief of the basic science research. We are doing gene research, protein research, which is a bio, 
medic, medical research, and that it has a lot of opportunity for the companies to be collaborative, uh, collaborative with. And uh, apart from our hospital in our area, because uh, the background I've just introduced to you, you have opportunity to come to our biomedical industry and any other industry, including aerospace and missiles. Every technology would be involved in our new, uh, new area. And this new area now with a lot of potential for you to invest, to collaborate. Particularly for me, I like to come to the hospital to talk to us. There are medical industry, look at the medical devices and the biomedical materials like protein products, antibodies, and gene-related research. All these aspects are very strong in our area. So come to talk to me if you have the interest to, to uh, collaborate with a cardiac surgeon, a heart surgeon, and also a research. So we have a lot of collaboration potential to be collaborated, not only just the clinical work, but also basic science and industry. I stop here, okay? Great, yeah. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Uh, as you know that uh, Mr. He is come from, uh, not only uh, from a hospital, he give you an overview of the hospital and the life science, but also give you some overview of Taida. Uh, Taida is a, a special in, uh, industry development zoo, and it is in Tianjin, okay? By the way, people don't know Tianjin. T Tianjin is a half hour away, high speed train away from Beijing, okay? It's not far away from Beijing. Okay, um, next we are, okay, invited uh, Mr. Wu Hanrong. Actually, the, from Tianjin is way up north, okay, but now we come to way down south, okay, with the Guangdong province, okay, not far away from uh, Hong Kong, okay. Uh, Mr. Wu Hanrong is a director of uh, the Guangdong Science and Technology uh, Cooperation Center, okay, Mr. Wu. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Hanrong Wu. Uh, I come from Guangdong province in the South China. And as you all know, uh, Guangdong province is an economic strength in China. Uh, its GDP least number one in China for the uh, past 28 years. And in 2016, uh, GDP per capita is over 10,000 US dollars. Uh, the organization I work for is a public organization, uh, Guangdong Science and Technology Cooperation Center. It's an affiliated institution under the leadership of the provincial government, uh, provincial department of science and technology. Uh, our basic mission is uh, to facilitate uh, science and technology cooperation uh, for Organ, uh, organization in Guangdong province with uh, people from other countries. So basically we do a lot of work to help people to find the proper partners. Uh, for the Guangdong organization to find partner in foreign <coughs> country and also for the foreign uh, companies to find uh, proper partners in Guangdong province. That's basically what we do. So every year, we hold a lot of events, workshop, seminars, uh, technology matching meetings, all, have, all hope to help people to find the proper uh, uh, partners and try to uh, set up a constructive relationship. And actually, my, I myself also was the chairman of uh, exhibition, exhibition companies. It's a company belong to the center, and it's quite market-oriented uh, companies. Uh, in the past decade, I lead our teams to uh, have uh, developed a series of exhibitions with well, uh, worldwide reputations. Uh, so my experience in the business uh, field also have us to improve our a service in public sectors. So that's what I want to talk about, okay? Great, yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, let's go back to the Yangtze River area, okay? So from north to south, and then we can see. Okay, next uh, speaker is uh, Mr. Liang Mingxun, okay? 
Uh, he is an executive deputy director and manager and the state key lab of optical fiber and uh, cable manufacture technology, right? In Chinese, it's a uh, Chang Fei. Oh. oh, okay. So. <laughs> 呃，我们下面有请这个熊良明先生，呃，他是在长飞，呃，光学纤维这个研究有限公司，呃，他是呃经理，并且是呃执行董事。Okay, 好，谢谢。Okay, uh, Mr. Xiong, yeah, you can start to introduce. Okay, thank you, uh, Sandy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Liang Mingxiong, and you can call me Anshan, because Liang Mingxiong is very difficult for pronunciation. So I'm from Yangzhou Optic Fiber and Cable Joint Stock uh, uh, Limited Company. It is uh, in short of YOFC. YOFC is listed in Hong Kong, and the stock code is 06869.hk. If, if uh, our YFC is a Sino-European uh, joint company, uh, actually the European partner is at the, begin at the beginning is Fitful, and now is uh, Ital Italian uh, Prisma. And uh, YFC, the main business focus on optic fiber platform, optic fiber, optic cable, and now is the, the largest uh, uh, optic fiber and cable supplier over the world. Actually, for our uh, our the main company or the uh, the friendly company is Conning. Uh, in but in the optic fiber and the cable field, YFC is the largest one. Now YFC uh, the revenue scale is about. Uh, 10, 10 billion, but in the next six to next three to five years, it will be 20 billion. That means in China, in YFC, and in the middle city, Wuhan city, there are huge opportunity in the market. Uh, YFC, just now I will mention, is by the young level in, in Wuhan city. Wuhan city is the uh, it's, the, uh, it's one of the city have uh, uh, the largest number of uh, college and university students, more than one million students. It is very, uh, very high technology and uh, education and uh, science and technology, uh, technology R&D city. And the city's uh, slogan is different every day. If you join the Wuhan city, you can find really every day is different. And the first high, high, ray, high train is also from the Wuhan city to the Guangzhou city. And actually, this city is uh, about in five hours, you can arrive at Peking and arrive at Shanghai and Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Xi'an, and Chongqing. So it's the middle, just the middle of the China. Uh, we also focus on the R&D of some other, uh, some other uh, high-tech knowledge, not only optic fiber and cable, uh, like specialty product and service, constellation service, clouded service, cloudy service, and uh, also also, smart, smart link and the service. Our company's VFC's uh, mission is smart link, better life. And uh, our company's mission is to be the leader of smart, smart link and intelligent uh, transmission. So, we actually invite uh, our world talent to join Wuhan, and of course, we find cooperation with YFC. We have the, the national state key laboratory. Uh, it's provided by the 
Chinese Ministry of Science and Technology. And we also have the postdoctoral workshops uh, platform. And uh, some ad uh, academic member stations for the, uh, for the future. Uh, in Canada, we have built trust and cooperation with the University uh, of Ottawa. This is uh, maybe the capital of Canada. So anyway, uh, at the last, not least, we, we tried to invite you to visit Wuhan, to visit YFC, and to find trust and uh, cooperation with us. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Great, great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, as you see that uh, all, we have a five panel, and the five panelists, uh, they are representing all the different uh, industry and area, such as from uh, a hospital, life science, and uh, most is a government agency, and also the industry, right? And then next one we are going to introduce is uh, uh, from an uh, uh, investor, okay, investor sector, VC, and early stage investing, and also uh, uh, the medium stage investing. So uh, Mr. Yu Qing Zhang is a co-founder of a River Capital. Okay, Mr. Zhang. Uh, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not excellent in English than the other gentlemen here. Uh, I am from River Capital Investment Company in Beijing. Uh, we offer a whole solution uh, from the early period, the angel, and uh, all the way to M&A. Uh, so we invested more than 200 startup companies and we invested more than $6 billion. Uh, of course. Uh, so we, of course, we emphasize on the co uh, collaboration between China and Canada. We have invested more than 30 firms here. Uh, uh, we还在一五年的时候推出了CAMP这个项目。我们组织每年我们会组织十位加拿大这个主要集中在安省地区的这样一个优秀的创业家到中国跟中国大陆这些比较领先的包括这个百度就BAT这个百度阿里和腾讯在内小米在内的这样的优秀的初创公司来进行
呃嘉地的这样的一个直投基金，呃，同时呢还会呃成立一个这个研究院啊，预计在今年的这个第四季度会呃正式的推出。呃，我们非常欢迎更多的这个创业家，更多的这个呃投资人啊、呃，更多的合作伙伴，我们一起参与共建这样一个中加的呃创业生态。In this,、uh, yesterday I announced at the the other panel at the Discovery,、uh, this year in 2017 in Q4 we plan to launch an industrial institute here in Canada. That's going to be 30 million dollars level program. 呃，我也想借此机会再次感谢一下我们所有在这个呃加方的这个合作伙伴们。呃，正是在过去几年当中，这些合作伙伴的支持，呃，我们呃大和资本呢，应该说在呃整个中加的这个创业的这个投资的这个方面呢，应该说还是呃属于这个早鸟，属于这个先行者，也取得了这个一定的这个呃成果。呃，我也非常期待在接下来的这个呃互动和问答的环节。啊，来回答一些大家关心的，呃，关于在投资方面的和创业方面的一些问题。啊，谢谢。First, I welcome your interest in the Big River, and I would like to use this opportunity to thank all our、uh, partners here in Canada, because without you,、uh, the Big River、uh, fund will not be this success. We are the Early Bird Institutes in the entrepreneurship and investment, and I would like to take the opportunity of our later Q and A session to answer your questions. Yeah, great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, as、uh, you you know that uh, uh, River Capital is have a really good relationship with uh, uh, Canada, particularly in、uh, in Ontario. Okay, and uh, he, uh, uh, Mr. John, mentioned is、uh, uh, OCE. Okay, University of Waterloo and the University of Toronto and the Mars and the Community Tech. Okay, so I know their co-founder, several co-founders, still is, is sitting here. Okay, and、uh, two or、uh, three or four years ago, so it's quite a good uh, uh, connection uh, with us. Okay, yeah, Thank you. it's wonderful. Yes, yeah. Okay, next, um, pr uh, it's a professor, professor from our uh, Chi uh, Chinese Academy of Science. Okay, uh, Mr. Jing Zhu is a professor of uh, Ningbo Institute of uh, Material and Technology and、uh, Engineering. Okay, Mr. Zhu. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.、Uh, this is my pleasure to be here, and、uh, thanks the、uh, organizer、uh, give us、uh, such opportunity to introduce our institution. Uh, um, I come from the Ningbo Institute of Materials、uh, Technology and Engineering. It's Chinese Academy of Science.、Uh, as you know, Chinese Academy of Science is a, a central government support. The research institution, and、uh, our institute is、uh, new, and uh, uh, different from the traditional institute of uh, uh, Chinese Academy of Science. And、uh, our research institute is focused on the,、uh, applied uh, science, and it started、uh, in 2004. It's founded, co-founded by、uh, Chinese Academy of Science. Zhejiang Province and Ningbo City, and it's now Ningbo City is about two and a half hours、uh, driving from Shanghai, south of Shanghai, and、uh, this is a totally new institute. It's started by two persons, and it recruits the people all overseas, and now the institute、uh, institute have over、uh, nearly a thousand staff. And、uh, more than 700 students, and、uh, among the, this uh, uh, the staff, more than 250 people from the overseas, and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, four uh, research uh, major research field, includes new materials,、uh, the new energy, and biomedical. And also new、uh, advanced manufacturing uh, uh, the field, and、uh, so we all the you know is、uh, the the name called the materials in China. This only us is in the Chinese Academy of Science, and、uh, as we know, we recruit many people from overseas. We have、uh, a lot of cooperation in the overseas, including Canada, 
and myself is a key return from uh, US. I spent uh, 12 years study and uh, work in the US and uh, uh, returned to China 2009. And uh, my major is uh, on polymer uh, materials, especially is uh, bio-based polymer materials. And uh, now I also have, we have already collaborated with uh, the, the, the professor Yan from the University of Toronto. So we have a lot of opportunity and uh, we also f have the, you, you know, our f uh, mission is uh, make, is try to making the technology to be commercialized. So we also set up the incub incubating center. So help the people, myself, and also the overseas people or company to come to China and the Ningbo Institute is the uh, ideal platform for the individual or the company to achieve the, their dream in China. And welcome to uh, Ningbo and our institute. Thank you. Great, yeah, thank you, yeah. So as you know that uh, uh, it's a slightly different than uh, in Canada, okay, in the at university or academia institute, we don't directly own an uh, incubator, right? But in China, uh, many academia and uh, university, they cr create or build their own incubator, okay? And sometimes they're facing as an uh, overseas um, uh, entrepreneur to come over here to solve the landing in that region, okay? Either in that region or even, you see, uh, Professor Zhu is represented CAS, okay? CAS, um, Chinese Academy of Science, and they have an incubator too, okay? They, a lot of government encouragement to, uh, to set up a program to encourage the startup company, okay? So this is why leading to my uh, question for our panel, okay? As you know, we have a life science, uh, uh, government agent, industry, and the investor, of course, here is uh, academia, right? So there's a quite a representative of the panel here, right, for the different area. So I want to ask uh, uh, each of you, okay, can you briefly, from uh, your organization and uh, your area, what is a major opportunity in the market in China? Okay, so. Yeah. so how about we do the same start order again? Yeah, yeah, start with okay, you. Okay, thank yeah. you for the question. There are a lot of marketing opportunities for us, for collaboration. Uh, I'm actually a practicing surgeon doing heart operations. For cardiac operation, heart operation, we use a lot of high tech now. We use endoscopy, we use uh, very good instruments, we use compute, rise the programs, we use everything. In part of that, and we also have a new diagnostic procedures that we have to use high tech too. I'm a professor in five universities, still one in the U.S. universities too. I'm a professor at the Oregon Health Science University of Portland, Oregon. I'm still am. And I was a professor of cardiac surgery in the University of Hong Kong. And what we do is we try to bridge the basic science, clinical practice, and industry. In our hospital, there's another very strong industrial opportunity. And my colleague, president of the hospital, Dr. Liu, he is developing a left heart assistance device, which is used as a machine to be used to support the heart failure, particularly left heart size. That's not commercialized, but still in the development with the China aerospace industry in Beijing. So this is one of the opportunities. Second opportunity for us is I'm doing a lot of basic science too. We're doing gene and protein, life science, biomed biomedical research. And in that kind of research, we have developed a lot of biomarks, proteins, genes, that is, can directly go into the industry. If anybody is interested in developing the biomarks with us for diagnosis or the, for treatment for cardiovascular heart diseases, that we can collaborate together, we develop a new biomarks. And thirdly, 
we can have a lot of biomaterial that can be used for artificial blood vessels, which are used at the moment for aorta surgery. You know, the aorta is major arteries. If that has a disease like dissection, you take that out, you put artificial vessels in. Then you see that that is artificial material. So from material point of view, there is a lot of marketing opportunities. I just give you three examples. I can give you 100 examples if you have time, OK? Great, yeah, thank you, okay. So you are, as you know, you are in uh, Toronto, and uh, Toronto is famous for the life science, and uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, small uh, high-tech company around this area. And I forgot yeah. to mention, yeah. we have a very strong collaborative program with Toronto hospitals, oh, oh. particularly the Sick Kids yeah. Hospital. Okay. Now our local government support a lot of money to have the exchange and the learning and a collaborative program with Sick Kids Hospital here. It's been second year now, and it's very fruitful. In our hospital now, more than 10 people, nurses, doctors, are still in the Sick Kids Hospital right now, this week. Wow. And I also visited the Toronto General Hospital and the Sunnybrook Hospital. I gave a talk on the omic study. Maybe you don't know what is that. Just gene and protein studies. Okay? Wonderful. Then what I'm doing, then we collaborate in the direct case with these three hospitals already. Great, yes. I hope that uh, all the hospital people is here, okay? And then you're looking <laughs> for the uh, opportunity, okay? Okay, next uh, we, uh, Mr. Wu, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm a research professor of uh, science and technology information. So I can only give you a general idea. Uh, maybe I can use uh, three key words. Uh, the first one is economy transition. As all we know, after almost 40 years of uh, fast development. China now is in the period of economic transition. We hope to transfer our economy from uh, labor intensive, low value added to uh, in knowledge intensive and uh, high value added economy. So almost every sector has a demand for technology escaping. I think that's should be some market opportunity exist. Of course, not all the sector has equal uh, opportunity. Because in some sector, we have the problem of uh, surplus capacity. Then maybe in low sectors, not all the players have the ability to invest innovation. So among all the sectors, I mean uh, laws that can meet the demand for consumption at scale has much more opportunity than the others. As you all know, Chinese traveler go below and buy almost everything from food, electronic device uh, to uh, beauty products. That means though China is a leading manufacturing power but many products are not good enough to meet the demand of the people. So that's the opportunity exists. And I think the second key word is the uh, environment protection. After almost four decades of development, we now face a serious problem of pollution. And the central government has determined the strategy of building a beautiful China. That means in the coming years, a lot of investment will put into uh, the environmental uh, protection. That sector should be have a lot of opportunity. And the third key one is the uh, aging population. I think maybe 10 years later, China will have serious problem of aging population. Uh, the population, uh, all people will take a, a very big uh, percentage. So the relevant sectors that can offer service or can produce uh, products suitable for all people surely have a lot of market opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. As you know, you're talking about aging. 
aging and aging uh, population. Uh, yeah, uh, University of Waterloo have a, a aging uh, institute. Mm -hmm. So they have a whole bunch of uh, uh, professors concentrated uh, research on the uh, aging uh, yeah, problem. That can so offer that the, can, uh, yeah. Health most of health. those aging people will come to us oh. because <laughs> most people finally died from cardiovascular disease, from oh, heart yeah, attack, that's right. heart disease. Final, final state, so yeah. whatever you do, finally come to us. Yeah, and I, I'm sure <laughs> that uh, University of uh, Toronto, Mars, and also Communitech and AC, they all have some uh, startup company related to uh, environment and aging, right, the problem and all that. Okay, without further ado, let's, uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Actually, yeah. actually, for for our business opinion is link or connection. Our main business focus on the optical fiber and the, uh, cable and the for the communication. How to make the link and the com uh, connection s more smarter and more fast and larger larger capability? Then here we will bring bring forth a huge opportunities. So actually, now, I, maybe, uh, maybe we all know, now in China, they are uh, pushing one bet, one load national strategy. How is one bet, one load? Or just to link different, uh, different zones, different country, and uh, uh, different uh, city. But how to con connect it or link? Just we can use uh, use uh, before we use the silk, but now we can use optic communication. But to to build up the such smart optic communication, we need more fiber, more cable, more service, and more uh, integrated solution. So, uh, so we actually in the next uh, uh, next three to five years, just I also mentioned, we want to increase our business scale by a fourth. That means now, now uh, ten billion, mm -hmm. and in 2000, 2020, we will be 20, 20 billion. That means also a huge opportunity, but it's just a focus on the, uh, 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 the optic link, optic communication. If we expand, so other kind of uh, surface and, uh, and field, that means all larger. Anyway, for, anyway, in our uh, opinions, just focus on customer demand. We can use some innovation and high technology to, to change, to change the, uh, the old link, the old com uh, connection, and to use the new product, the new uh, solution, and the new service. That's the opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, as our Canadian, if you uh, uh, listen carefully, you know that uh, Mr. Xu introducing the one concept. It's called a uh, one belt, one uh, road, right? So that actually that is a, a really a hot word in China right now. That's the economic zoom. Okay, that is the international collaboration. One belt, one road. But if you go to China, whoever doing the uh, business development go to China, if you mention that belt and road, they are really impressed that you know the China very, uh, current affair, okay? I, yeah. I, 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 I don't. <laughs> Actually, along one belt, one load, we also set up an uh, overseas company in, in Indonesia and Myanmar and South Africa. Now, totally uh, near five uh, joint company overseas. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah, thank you. This is one more word. One belt, one road. The east end is our place, Tianjin. <laughs> <laughs> Start from us. Starting from uh, the old From company. Tianjin, yes. Yeah. Okay. By national strategy. Here we go. And then uh, investor, from an investor point of view, what is the opportunity, China uh, market opportunity? Okay. Uh, 
呃非常快的这样一个发展速度啊，第二个呢是一个非常巨大的这样一个呃消费市场，呃，所以我们习惯用呃一个中国动力嫁接全球这八个字呢来去呃看呃国际上和中国市场相结合的这么一个机会。So on the investor's point of view, there are two main characters in, in China. The first one is the faster growing. The second one is the huge uh, consumer base. So we're talking about uh, China's power and the global market. We understand the speed. For example, from the investment perspective, in the past two or three years, we have seen that some companies in one year 呃，一年当中呢，看到中国的这个共享经济这个领域啊，包括了呃，共享汽车的这个滴滴啊，共享单车的这个 mobile 和这个 OFO， 呃，都是在短短的像滴滴在短短的四年当中啊，融了有两百到三百亿美金的资啊，然后也在中国市场呢，把这个 Uber 啊，给这个呃，算是一个国际巨头给呃打败了。呃，我们的共享自行车啊，共享单车，在过去的一年当中，呃，这个两家呃领先的这个公司呢，呃，分别都融了这个五到六轮子啊，融资的金额呢都呃接近或者超过了十亿美金。所以这样的一个这个发展速度，是在中国创投界一个非常典型的这样一个特点。呃，我们呃自豪的讲，在这一点上来讲，中国的这个创投市场其实不输于硅谷的这个创投市场。So we're talking about the fast growing rate. In the past two to three years, a lot of startup companies, they raised the fund even four times in a year. And the key word in China right now is the shared economy. I'm going to use two examples. The first one is shared cars. The DD is the uh, Chinese equivalent of Uber. In the last four years, they raised 20 to 30 billion U.S. dollars. They even acquired Uber's business in China, which is huge successful. And also we talk about the shared bikes. There are two major um, players, the Mobike and the Ofo. They raised more than 10 billion USDs. When we talk about the China in uh, the, the Chinese market, it is going to be the same scale as Silicon Valley in the United States. Uh, 但是事实上，在中国已经出现了明显的一批这个中产阶层。呃，按照这个呃第三方这个报告，有预计在二零年的时候，啊，可能会有呃两个亿以上的中产家庭。啊，这些人在以我在国内的这个观察呢，这些人在整个的这个生活方式、呃日常的消费，呃，包括大家会看到大量的中国人出国旅游、出境旅游、消费升级方面呢。呃，有一个巨大的这样的一个这个机会，这里面包括呃中国自己本土成长起来的这个消呃产品和服务的品牌，也包括在这个呃这个发达国家啊，其他的这个呃国家已经呃有非常悠久历史的服务品质非常优良的这样一些这个服务和产品的品牌进入到中国的一个机会，所以我们相信这里面应该是一个数以万亿级别的。这样一个新的增量的这样一个市场，我们希望有机会能跟呃这个国际上的其他的合作伙伴一起来分享。When we talk about the huge market in China, China has already have the second largest GDP in the world, although the per capita GDP is still small. The emerging of middle class in China, according to the Third Party Institute, by the year 2020, there will be more than 200 million middle class families. Their uh, lifestyle, their uh, consuming behavior will uh, be very different than now. And we see a lot of them, they start going abroad for travel. They are upscaling their uh, consumption. So there's already a lot of uh, imported uh, big brands from uh, other countries in China and being consumed in China. We are looking at hundreds of billion of dollars of the market in China. So, even though the economy is now from the original two groups, now it will be in the plan of the plan of 6 to 7. But as the President of the United States, 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 啊，所以我想呢，从投资人的角度来讲，我们也希望非常能够在非常希望能够在。
包括在加拿大在内的。所有的这些地区找到真正创新和适合中国市场的这样的初创公司啊，一起来去呃这个分享中国的这个市场。OK. And before, uh, we talk about here in China, there's about six to seven percent GDP growth year to year, and uh, as mentioned by President Xi Jinping, we welcome. Everyone to ride on the express train of China's economic growth, and we particularly invite the entrepreneurship in China. Uh, uh, excuse me, the entrepreneurship in Canada come to China and find out uh, what their uh, market opportunity is. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Mr. Zhu. Okay. Yeah. From uh, your, yeah, from yeah. academic point of view, okay. what is the Chinese um, market? Yeah. The opportunity is huge in China, this no, we don't need to see. But for materials, you know, we from the idea to real uh, commercialize, you need the, the idea to the labor scale, uh, labor scale and a private, uh, uh, power, uh, private uh, plan, uh, scale and uh, commercial scale. So through this uh, the, the chain, you need help. You need a government, industry, school, research, and also finance. So how to make your idea to commercialize? You know, you need to find reliable platform, reliable people. Our institute is work, work uh, play the role like this. So I think it's, uh, we can help you. Okay. Great, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. Um, you know what, right now, okay, that uh, the system are warning me, only have five minutes left, okay? So I want to just uh, quickly open the door uh, floor to uh, audience. And if you have one or two question related to China market, please uh, ask a question right now, okay? Is any any question from our audience? 下面是观众问答时间，时间关系，我们只有五分钟能回答一到两个问题。Oh, okay, yes, Randa, yeah. His question is: Canada's first-time companies, how can they compete with other companies or companies? And the biggest challenge is what? What is the biggest challenge? Is there a problem? I'm not on the marketing side, but what I suggested was uh, like yesterday we had another uh, meeting. That meeting is a uh, bridge for Canadians and the Chinese to put it together. And uh, there were one-to-one -one, uh, negotiation yesterday afternoon. I think that was a kind of opportunity so we can check. I think you, you may be worried about this IP. You, so that's uh, you need to find somebody. Your friend, you make sure the, the, I said it's uh, the people, the plentiful, this is reliable, your family, you need them to help you. It's not only you by yourself to with time. So that's uh, for you know you need to uh, find some like uh, the government supported organization, something like that, and making friends. And so it cannot be quick, but uh, but you have to. Yeah. That's yeah, I, I agree. Uh, you don't need to worry about too much of the intellectual property protection issue. Mm -hmm. That should be an issue. But you know, when China moved to uh, uh, innovation-driven uh, country, we need to, to, to protect the intellectual property well. Otherwise, no innovation will happen. So you don't need to worry about too much. All Chinese companies, they're all concerned about intellectual property. And of course, I think uh, it's the right time. It's, now it's the right time to enter into China. Because nowadays, when we try to build an innovation-driven economy, more social resources are allocated to support innovation. So that's the right time. And also for a small and medium-sized company, especially for the technology startup, I think to enter into China, it's better 
to find a proper partner. That will make it easier to enter into Chinese market. Because you know we have a saying, in China, everything is possible, not, but nothing is easy. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole okay. question is how to connect to China. And also, uh, how, when talking about to so connect with China, yeah. I have one suggestion. Make full use of public service, both from Chinese government and from the Canadian government. You know, you have the events here, and I myself left lead the delegation to take part in the events. When the delegation comes here, we get a lot of support from the uh, Canadian government. Similarly, when the, gov the Canadian government lead the uh, delegation to China, they also get a lot of support from local government. In fact, when I leave for Toronto uh, last week, we just host a delegation from uh, Ontario province, led by the uh, Minister, Minister of Commerce, of, of Commerce and Economy, I'm not sure. Yeah, we have just a one, one by one matching meeting in Guangzhou, and they all have a very active response. I have another suggestion. You. If you are interested, uh, just very quickly, very quick. If you are interested, uh, if you are in, say, in, uh, in biomedical area, you have suggested you go to specialized uh, conferences for biomedical scientists. Then you can find what they need who you should connect it with, and which is the institution in China you have interested to work with. I think that's my suggestion, because I go to that kind of meeting all the time, I meet the commercial people. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have a question. I don't know if it's in what field, I don't know if it's in what field, but I believe that we just launched the Zongjia Training Center is a very good service center. We have the opportunity 呃，让您来去对接到中国非常呃这个创新的一些公司，呃，还有呃，我们有上百位的这个各个领域的这个导师，但主要还是集中在偏互联网和技术创新这个领域的啊，这样一个导师，我们来提供这样一个有针对性的这个服务啊，这个我相信 Cam 应该呃对您进入和了解中国市场会有巨大的帮助。Yeah, so uh, it, it, uh, I'm not sure which field are you from, but、uh, I would like you to.、Um, have a look at the CMP, the China Angel Mentorship Program. We、yeah. can offer、uh, more than 100 mentors in China that can help you to launch your business in China. Yes. Okay. Actually, how to,、uh, how to build a connection with China company or the customer? Before that, you must make a good business plan. You need to find out what you want. You want customer, or partner, or investment. Then just join this forum. Enjoy more forum. Then you can find the chance.